Hey everyone, this is David here from Sheets Finance. We've all seen this classic earnings analysis report where analysts will take the EPS reported versus the EPS estimate and the sales or the revenue reported versus the revenue estimated and calculate surprise factors for each quarter. I'm going to show you how to build this dynamically in Google Sheets using the Sheets Finance extension and it's super straightforward. And like I said, it is dynamic so I can update the stock and it will repopulate with data from the Sheets Finance servers. We've got tens of thousands of financial assets available globally. So this will be a really uh, neat addition to your investing toolkit. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so here is our blank sheet. Remember, none of the functions I'm about to show you are gonna work until you install the Sheets Finance extension so that you can connect your Google Sheets with real-time financial data. So first things first, let's first display the uh, company name up here in our um, heading bar. So I'm gonna use equals SF in cell D1. I'm gonna reference the stock that we're focused on, which is in cell B3 and I'm going to use the company info function and I want the name. Great, that's displayed, although let's make it a bit bigger. And just to check that that's working, let's swap between different companies and we'll see that name update. Great, that's our first part. Now let's pull in our earnings data. So Sheets Finance has a, um, has a lovely new function, which is the earnings function that allows you to access the exact data that we're after. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll use the function generator to keep things nice and simple. So I'm gonna head to the drop down menu um, and I'm gonna open the function generator, which will open on the right hand side. I'm going to tell it that the stock that we're after is in cell B3. I'm gonna head to real time and historical. I'm gonna choose earnings and I want to have the fiscal date ending, the EPS actual, EPS estimate, revenue actual and revenue estimate. Um, I'm gonna put them in descending order and I want the trailing 12 months data. Let's generate that. Now, of course, as per our other walkthroughs, I could have written this function directly, but it's a lot easier to just open up our function generator and let it build the function for you. So there we go. In cell A5, we now have the data that we're after. Let's do some nice formatting um, like that. Let us also change this to dollars and um, we'll change the formatting on our date to uh, month and year. It's a bit nicer. Cool, let's add the surprise factor. So we've got uh, surprise EPS percent and we've got surprise uh, revenue percentage five. Let's copy out that and of course calculating this from the data is pretty straightforward for the EPS it's going to be the actual minus the estimate and then oops not minus divided by the estimate minus one and we'll say yes to filling it down and we'll turn this into a percentage it's going to be the same situation where we're gonna say actual divided by estimate minus one, and we'll fill that down and let's set that as a percentage. We also want to quickly be able to see whether the surprise is positive or negative. So we're gonna use some condi conditional formatting. So I'm gonna highlight all of these cells that I want the conditional formatting um, active for. And I'll hit to format, conditional formatting, and we will set it to be greater than zero. Let's just have green text. We'll add another rule. And this time we're gonna say uh, 
less than zero, and we're going to have red text. Done. Great. That looks about right. So now let's change companies, for instance, uh, Meta or Facebook. Great. Um, swap to Nike. Cool. So the data is coming in. Um, I'm just going to, each time we change the stock, uh, it looks a bit ugly here with this divide by zero error. So what I'm going to do, and this is a great tip for any of your dashboards that you're building with Sheets Finance, is to wrap your function in if error, and then just tell it what you would like it to do if there is an error. In this case, I'm telling it to just display a dash if there's an error like that. Uh, and I'm just going to drag that down. So that's now the formula for all of them. And I'm going to do the same here. If error, and then I'll make that a dash. And that just means that if there's any sort of error, for instance, the there's no data point on the server or you're moving between uh, loading screens, you're not going to get that ugly hash error or hash divide by zero. So now when I change, I just get these little dashes instead while it loads. Great. Let's head back to Apple. All right. Now we just want to build the charts. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to say insert chart. I'll put that there. Um, I'm actually just going to copy it and paste it twice and then we'll design them slightly differently. So starting with the chart on the left, this is going to be our EPS chart. First, I will set the X axis to be the uh, fiscal date ending. Uh, I'm going to turn off uh, the revenue information. I'm going to turn off the surprise information and I'm not going to treat the labels as text, but as dates. Um, EPS fiscal date ending. That shouldn't be there either much better. Cool. And I might just set the series. I think when we're talking about estimates and actuals, it's quite nice to have a darker color for the, for the actual. So let's go with like a dark blue. And then for the estimate, we do a lighter version of that. I find that that makes it quite clear that the lighter one is, is an estimate and that the darker one is the actual, but each to their own. All right, let's do the same formatting on the right hand side. In the setup, we're going to set the X axis to the fiscal date end. I'm going to remove that from our series. I'm going to remove the EPS data from the series and just leave the revenue data. And I'm going to remove, remove those uh, surprise percentages that we've calculated. I'll switch off treating the labels as text. And again, let's choose for revenue uh, maybe green. So we'll go dark green. What have I done? No, I don't want to apply to all series back to auto. Um, actual is going to be dark green and estimate will be a lighter green color like that. Great. Okay. That, um, that's pretty much it. Now we're back to, uh, where you came in at the start of this video. We now have a dynamic earnings report dashboard. What we're looking at is we're looking at quarterly earnings data, uh, both the earnings per share and the uh, revenue. Uh, and there is a comparison between uh, what was estimated for that quarter and what was actually reported. And this is a really common um, report that you'll see on a bunch of different uh, analysis sites, for instance, sax.com and so on. Um, whereas in this case, we can quite easily manipulate the data and move between uh, any company that we'd like. So this could be just a standalone template that you decide to use. I'll put a link down in the description for you to just immediately copy and get going. Uh, or you might work this into a much larger dashboard that pulls in all sorts of financial information using Sheets Finance in Google Sheets. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.